I have another bang. I couldn't help but notice you were staring at my bang. This particular flavor of potent brain and body fuel with super creatine, ultra cock 10, and BCAA aminos. Oh, that reminds me, BCAA, I struggled to think of a sport that began with A, archery. Huh, an obvious one. I write a comic book where the main character is an archer, although he doesn't do it for sport. He does it for the thrill of murder. He doesn't do that, he's a good boy. This one's called Purple Haze, which I'm assuming is great, but I'm not gonna read the can yet, because I want to be surprised. It smells purple. You know, I'm getting a distinct purple vibe from it. This helps. Okay, let's actually take a step. This has gotta be grape. I mean, purple haze, grapes are purple. If it's anything else, I'll, I'll eat the can. It is grape. Definitely grape. Bang sort of coats the back of your throat. The black cherry one is better than this. So yeah, same thing, make no mistake. Make no mistake. Ooh yeah, bang is not your stereotypical high sugar, life sucking soda, dude. I actually ended up doing some research into what cock 10 is, and it's when you have 10 cocks. If you're taking any prescription drugs, and or have any medical conditions. I mean, I have, I have nervousness, irritability, and an abnormal heart rate. Does that count as a medical condition? I found out that it was a symptom of too much caffeine. This product is intended for use by healthy individuals only. Oh, <laughs> well, fuck. Well, I'm, I'm foregoing that uh, because I don't know rules. This one is called Rainbow Unicorn, which sort of, with the, the bright pink and the bright blue, sort of belies the uh, that you get from the other two bangs, which are black and red and a dark purple and black, and this one's bright powder blue and pink, which makes me think that this is cotton candy flavored. Um, I despise cotton candy, to be perfectly frank. I think it is a terrible snack option, um, and it is so low rent, the only time I think it is acceptable to have cotton candy is at, like, a fair. But not even, like, a good fair, like a shitty county fair. Like, one where, you know, you, you might die on the scrambler, and you're looking at the guy who's making your hot dog, and he just deep fried it twice, and that might kill you, and that is the only fair where it's okay, and it's in like a parking lot. Like, it, like, they didn't even rent like a park. They put it in like the parking lot of like a Home Depot, and not even a good Home Depot. The Home Depot where like, they don't restock the shelves and there's screws all over the floor. That's the only time cotton candy is acceptable. I so hate cotton candy. It tastes like nerds. So far, the best one is, is still black cherry vanilla. This one's not as good. I'm gonna drink all of it because, you know, I'm not a quitter, but... It's... it does have, like, all I'm thinking about now is cotton candy. Go to a real fair. Get a doughboy, like a normal person. That's what they have at real fairs. Cotton candy is unacceptable. Whether you're an adult or a five-year-old child, if I find you... I do like the color scheme. This one says, Fuel Your Destiny. That's like some Mortal Kombat shit. We had one more flavor of bang. 
And this one is called Star Blast, which is the name of a ride at an amusement park I used to frequent as a child. Star Blast is gonna taste like red, white, and blue, so it's gonna taste like America. And what does America taste like? Dead. Potent brain and body fuel, so only unicorn's blood allows me to fuel my destiny, but this is gonna fuel my heart rate. So if my heart explodes, Bang did what it was supposed to do. I got nothing. Life's an extreme sport. And that extreme sport is guessing the flavor of Star Blast. Uh, this little pink thing in my hand here completely dispels everything I thought I knew about design theory, about mythology, and about unicorns, because I could have sworn that unicorn piss, or whatever the other one was called, was the cotton candy flavor. Lo and behold, this is the cotton candy one. So, there goes everything I said. I guess, really, all I has succeeded in doing was gaslighting myself into believing that the unicorn flavor was actually cotton candy. Maybe everything I knew was a lie. I could have sworn Purple Haze was great, but maybe it's actually Honeydew Melon. I, I just, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't smell like a dirty fair, so I guess that's a step up over real cotton candy. Those taste like nerds. They taste like nerds. You ever know how you eat cotton candy, and after, it's like, you know, it's like swallowing sugary dryer vent lint. And after you finally choke it down, that's when you finally get whatever flavor cotton candy is supposed to be. That's kind of how this feels, but in liquid form. I think the pink and black can, I think that's actually, like, my favorite design. Because, like, I think pink and black go together really well. It's like Bret Hart. This is the, the drink of the best there ever was, the best there ever will be. Guitar riff. Mmm. Shit. Sorry. Um, this is Bang Blue Raz. I, I, I got nothing. I got, I got nothing for this. Can looks nice. I'm sorry, I already drank it. The The illusion of me doing this blind is gone. I needed a drink. My throat was sore. This was all I had. This is all I've been spending money on lately. Sour Heads. Trademark. Containing natural and artificial flavors. It's gotta be Sour Apple. Let's just get this over with, because I'm... Getting tired of drinking these goddamn things for for the camera. I can't smell anything. Okay, so either somebody melted my taste buds off, or a lot of these taste the same. It tastes like nerds. It tastes like nerds. I'm starting to taste a little bit of the apple, I think, uh, but it's not sour. I actually don't mind this one. It's green, like the failure team jersey I'm wearing. I I'd wear my Bruins one, but um, that's a sweater, and it's like 80 degrees outside, and if I wore it, I would die. So cheers. Go Bruins. Here we go. Nine out of ten me's agree that we're about to try piña colada. So this is probably going to taste like getting caught in the rain. Mmm. Pineapple-y. I actually like this one. Mmm. This is 
a good one. I like the pina colada flavor. And that's really all we're getting out of these now. There's really no fun to the blind taste tests, and every single one I've tried blind, where I didn't know the flavor, I've ended up being wrong. So, um, this tastes like pina colada, at least I'll give it that. I mean, we're at the point where I, I mostly like these things. They're pretty good. Um, it makes me feel like an adult because children cannot drink them. Although, I do not see the warning on this one. Oh, there it is. Never mind. I found it. I was like, where's the warning that says you gotta be an adult to drink this? <laughs> you have to be able to vote in order to have BANG products. Which I guess makes sense. So there you go. That's Pina Colada. And, um... I, I think it's it's best that this come to an end. So what's the point of all of this? Why did I subject myself to the 2400 milligrams of caffeine on display here? Um, I, I don't know, but uh, I guess uh, it's it was fun. It was fun because I had fun. This one's purple guava pear. Another new flavor. Twenty seven hundred milligrams. Cheers.